elevators, grain bins, silos. From the outside, these wider gray pillars stand against the horizon, dotting the landscape of rural America. From the inside, however, these skyscrapers of the prairies tell a much more interesting story. You can think of grain elevators much like a bank. Farmers harvest their crops and bring it to one of our 20 different locations, whichever is the closest to them, to store the grain that they worked hard for much of the year, much like you go to the bank to deposit your paycheck. And it is the people that run the grain elevator's responsibility to make sure that the grain stays dry and the facility is kept temperature controlled. As the grain comes in, it has to pass tests to ensure that it isn't going to contaminate grain coming in by being too wet or have too much floor material such as weeds or bugs. They have a probe that grabs a sample of the grain to test this before it goes to the elevator. If it's too wet, the grain is either rejected or the co-op can run it through their dryer for a fee. I'm Kurt Strasser and I'm the manager at the Ply Mail location at Garden City Co-op. My job is to keep our grain in quality condition at our facility so that it leaves in quality condition to wherever it is transported. During harvest, uh, our days could be slow in the morning to where we just take grain in from uh, the night before and then we'll have a break. But most of the time we can see anywhere from 30 to 100 trucks. Being fully automated, we can be able to start up our equipment from a computer. It eliminates a lot of running around. So, how does the elevator work? Technology is changing rapidly, and the elevators built today can be run from a computer, as opposed to the earlier elevators, which required manual labor to move things around. Essentially, a truck drives over a pit, and an elevator employee opens up the bottoms of the hopper, one at a time, to release the grain into the pit. The grain then moves to the leg by either gravity feed, drag, or an auger. The leg acts as an elevator, picking the grain up and carrying it to a distributor. The distributor distributes grain either directly into a bin or to the desired bin by either drag or gallery belt and tripper. Once grain is in the elevator, it can be dried to a certain moisture, transferred to different bins, or blended with other grain to create desired quality, or the grain can be loaded out. When grain needs to be moved for any of the previously mentioned reasons, grain is unloaded from the bottom of the bin by either gravity onto an open tunnel belt, or it is augered to a recovery drag, and then carried back to the lake and distributed the same way as previously mentioned. So that's the essentials on how the elevator works. A lot of moving parts which you never see from the outside. The co-op prides itself in taking in and exporting only the highest quality product. And that dedication comes from a number of people working together, from the farmer and the agronomist determining the best herbicides and pesticides and getting the timing down just right to catch weeds and pests before they spread to a much bigger problem, to the diligence of the grain elevator employees keeping a sharp eye on the grain that comes in and goes out. So, when a farmer has made the decision to sell their grain, it is loaded by truck, or occasionally rail, and delivered locally to feed yards, among other places. We also work in tandem with Wind River Grain, where they ship grain via rail down to Houston, Texas, where it is then combined with other grain to fill a massive barge that is then shipped to places like China and all over the world. So we're not kidding when we say our farmers truly do feed the world. 